Hi, it's Bella. And Lola. Sonoma County's wine country spans more than a million acres from the Pacific Ocean to the rugged coast range. It is truly an amazing and beautiful place to visit. Lately, it's become increasingly famous for its premium wines, sharing the pedestal with Napa Valley for luxury cult collectibles. But in Sonoma County, you're just as likely to stumble across extraordinary wines being crafted out of a backyard setup, which creates an intimate setting in which to enjoy what each vineyard has to offer. Often it will be the actual winemakers who's filling your glass with his or her faithful winery dog sitting nearby. We love that! Bella Vineyards and Wine Caves are one of our favorites for some obvious reasons, like their name. You'll find it at the end of West Dry Creek Road, a narrow winding country road that curves along the remote hillsides north of Hillsburg. What really makes Bella a special place to visit for two little pups is that the tasting room is inside the barrel cellars within giant caves dug out of the hillside. It's nice and cool inside, especially on a hot summer day. The Unleash the Beast Tour will take you deep into the wine caves where you'll learn the science and art of aging wine. Your guide will take you through a sensory station and reveal Bella's dark secrets as you savor their wines, finishing up with their monster Zinfandel, affectionately named The Beast. According to Robert Parker of The Wine Advocate, Bella hit pay dirt in 2012. Parker points out that the 2012 Barrel 32 is about as good as Zinfandel's get. Too bad pups like us can't drink wine. It sure did look like everyone was enjoying it. Bella Vineyards cherishes Sonoma County's rich history by focusing on using the best fruit from some of the most sought after vineyards. Lynn and Scott Adams and their family run the winery and are dedicated to handcrafting small lots. The winemakers believe in balance, blending complexity with opulence, nuance with boldness, and mind blowing with distinctive. The winery is located on Lily Hill, where the first vines were planted over a hundred years ago by Italian immigrant Adamo Michelli and his young son Angelo. Angelo and these young vines grew up together, and he continued to watch over the land with his own children for the next few decades. Today, Lynn, Scott, and their family watch over the vines and are lucky enough to have the soil and the sunshine as a regular part of their days. My dad told us the wines here are just delicious, with amazing length and texture to complement the fruit and structure, whatever that means. All we know is that they create wines that are mouth-filling and memorable, based on all the oohs and ahs we heard in the tasting room. Plus, they're super dog-friendly. Sounds fantastic, right? It really was. And we hope to run into you on our next visit to Bella, so you can see for yourself what we're raving about. Oh, and here's a tip. Bring a picnic lunch and stay a while after your tour. It's really nice to relax and play on their tree-shaded lawn while you soak up the picturesque beauty of Dry Creek Valley. Hope to see you soon.